Have you ever gone to your doctor knowing that something is definitely wrong with your health? You've been dealing with chronic illness maybe for months or years. Could be gut related, anxiety, or all sorts of different things, skin conditions. And your doctor runs some tests and tells you, I don't know what to tell you, your labs look normal. And from there, they'll either tell you it's all in your head or at least just sorry, we don't know what to do about it or here, take this pill, maybe this will help even though we don't know what's going on. Well, part of the problem is this. Conventional medicine is amazing for acute issues. You have a heart attack, you break your arm, you have a serious bacterial infection. Thank goodness for modern medicine to be able to deal with that. But when it comes to chronic illnesses and chronic health, a lot of the testing that's used just isn't up to scratch. So if you feel inflamed, which most chronic illness sufferers will, they'll often test an ESR, which is a sedimentation rate, or a high sensitive C-reactive protein. The problem with these tests is they're too slow to move with inflammation when it's chronic. Even though it's called a high sensitive C-reactive protein, I've seen so many cases where someone's normal for that range, but then we run some far more sensitive inflammation tests than that and they're off the charts. So if this is you, if you feel like I'm inflamed and no one can find the cause, you first wanna go and find out how bad is the inflammation and that combined with your symptoms will drive what other tests you do. So the first inflammation test I recommend anyone dealing with chronic illness does is the AA-EPA ratio. It's a fatty acid test. It's testing the ratio between arachidonic acid, which is an omega-6, and your EPA, which is one of the three major parts of the omega-3. And that ratio, in my opinion, is one of probably the most sensitive inflammation marker out there. That will always show up your inflammation, even if the C-reactive protein one doesn't. Then from there, depending what you suspect, you can run other tests. There's C4A, there's TGF beta-1, you can test your leptins. There's a lot of other things to do, but what I've found is when you test that AA-EPA ratio and you show inflammation, then when you couple that with the symptoms you've got, that should then drive you down the road of do we need to go and test for mold mycotoxins and do an oats test? Do we need to go and do a Lyme panel to see if you've got Lyme bacteria or it's co-infections like Bartonella or Babesia or some of the viruses that go with that, like an Epstein-Barr or anything else? And from there, you can now dive down the rabbit holes you need to because no one has chronic illness just because. There's always a reason. Hey, Hey, Dr. Rodney here. If you want to get my free PDF, Five Hacks for Boosting Your Immune System, just go into the description of this video, click on the link, download it, and if you have any questions on it, just send me a message and I'll help you out with it. The only one of the common drivers of chronic illness that is harder to test for is parasites. You can do a blood test to test for the Toxoplasma gondii parasite, but the vast majority of them you would need to do a stool test, but they're often not very accurate because it comes down to the chances that when you grab a piece of stool to test, there happens to be a parasite in there. Usually when you're struggling with parasites, your body's not expelling them at all because they're really good at coating themselves in biofilm. And so you're just not even passing them out. So the rare times you are, what's the chance you even get the, the stool there? So for parasites, I prefer to just go off symptoms and, and other things that are going on and other positives but you can pretty much guess if you've got chronic health issues, parasites will be one of the combination of drivers because it, some stats will show up to 85 to 90% of adults, even in the Western world, will have a parasite infection. But you definitely don't want to accept that your labs are normal as an outcome if you know you've got chronic illness. Just make sure you're doing the right testing. So just because you have a normal high sensitive C-reactive protein, it doesn't mean you're not very highly inflamed. You've just got to go and find a doctor who can run the AA-EPA ratio as a great starting point, and then from there add in the other tests that you'll probably need there as well. If you're not sure how to get that, just comment on this video or shoot me a message, and I'll help you get that test. You can actually do a blood spot test at home, so you don't even need to go and do a blood draw. There's a couple of really good companies that do a good fatty acid panel blood test that has that AA-EPA ratio in it. So just message me and I'll get you the details of those companies so you can do it yourself. And one last thing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can follow along and hopefully become your own best doctor if you feel like you've been struggling and no one's getting you some answers. That's what my videos are all for.